Good morning on this Saturday of Pentecost weekend. Uh, tomorrow we celebrate Pentecost. Uh, join us for a celebration of God's Holy Spirit. Tomorrow, 10.30, our Sunday worship. And tomorrow we also have the return of our Sunday evening service. There'll be a Sunday evening service uh, going live at 6.30 tomorrow evening, Pentecost, uh, 31st of May. Today we uh, come towards the end of the Lord's Prayer which we've been following through most days this week with the um, phrase, deliver us from evil. God protect us from danger, from evil in so many different ways. I want to uh, just share with you a testimony from the Thy Kingdom Come website. It's the testimony of a man who is now the Archbishop of Cape Town in South Africa, uh, Archbishop Tabo Magoba. Uh, I think his testimony will speak for itself and then Epi will remind us that the battle belongs to the Lord. Well, I, mean, I remember at the age of 16 uh, being chased by a, a, a van or this police here, Ahmad's uh, car, uh, wearing uniform because we were protesting against uh, Africans as a medium of instruction and this Ahmad car was really coming at me. I walked fast, it drove fast. I walked slow, it drove fast. And then I ran away and I hid myself under uh, the, uh, a car where the mechanic was fixing it on that particular street. And I said to him, they want to kill me. And then he came out and they said to him, where's the terrorist? And the mechanic came, I won't repeat uh, what he said, I mean, he was very crude, but he said, you guys are looking for a terrorist uh, from a young schoolboy. There are terrorists out there, why don't you get a terrorist? And I prayed there and said, Lord, I'm in your hand, because I mean, they could have just clobbered the mechanic at me. And then uh, they left, and it was during when a number of my colleagues were killed in 1976. So, I mean, I, I felt it at that personal level that indeed, uh, I felt his rule, I felt his hand. And generally in South Africa, uh, we prayed, uh, we lamented, we cried, and we saw uh, democracy come not with uh, too much blood because we thought now we're going to fight for our liberation. But the churches, the mosques, the shoes and others came together and, and we prayed. And as Christians, we were in the forefront saying, Lord, let thy kingdom come. And there we are. 